my finger pulled on the trigger, Rihanna looked at me and smiled. I wonder why she smiled then, knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. Because she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye, and as the bullet ripped through her skull, the smile never left her face, even then. After she died. That was intense. <laughs> and then I woke up. Oh, there's the little cat toy. Yumi, can you hear me? Nurse, nurse, she's awake. Listen to me, Ayami. You're going to be fine. You collapsed after after the gunshot. Huh? Gun what are you talking about? That girl, what did I do? Hey, don't move, you need to rest. What did I do? Yami, calm down. Nurse? Detective Tanaka, if you could just hold her still for a moment. Everything's gonna be fine. The nurse is gonna give you something to help you sleep. Tanaka, where am I? I don't remember coming here. It's alright, Yami. We're in the hospital. I'm here for you. Now, I know you how you always like getting ahead of me. Please listen to me until the end, okay? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation in Kamakura. It ended badly. You, uh, you shot that girl. And while, um, the doctors are saying you had some kind of mental breakdown? Ah, you're awake. Good. How are you feeling today, Miss Ito? You seem much calmer now. Yeah, I guess. I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh yeah, according to the studies we've read, it's quite common for people who have experienced that kind of trauma, the kind of trauma you did. Tell me, do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer with yes or no only. Shortness of breath. Uh, I don't know what she's actually feeling. Yes or no only, so I can't ask what happened to my... Uh, no? No, I'm breathing fine. Nausea? Uh, no? No, I feel fine. Blurred vision. Nope, looks like... I, I think I can see fine. No, I can see fine. Fatigue. Uh, a little... Maybe. Yeah, I think I maybe I should lie down. I've given you in a mild antipsychotic in light of your recent episode. It is our duty to make sure you're mentally and physically fit for duty. You understand? Uh, yes. Good. Let me explain your medicine to you. We have conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. We found no evidence or history of neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. I'm writing up the episode as a stress-induced breakdown. For your safety and the safety of others, however, we strongly recommend you take these pills daily, for a period of several months. Take a look at your chart, Ms. Ito, to keep track of the well-being of workers in the public sector. We developed a spin system to monitor various aspects of your well-being. SPIN stands for Sanity. Oh, okay. Professionalism, Investigation, and Neurosis. We'll be monitoring your spin attributes closely in subs subsequent checkups, and I'd suggest you do the same. In light of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to accurately perceive the world around you. Without taking your daily medication, and given your condition, incidents like you recently experienced are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medicine, medication. Since your first dose is due today, please take it now, here. Okay, swallow. But my investigation goes down when I take it. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, there are some side effects. Though taking antipsychotic medication will decrease the chance for any future psychotic episodes, they may make you a bit drowsy and unfocused. As a detective, this of course may lower your investigative abilities your aptitude for seeing the details on a case. Though your partner mentioned you may have experienced hallucinations at the time of your breakdown, staking your medication is imperative to keeping your mind clear of these visions. I should warn you, however, if for whatever reason you are unable to take your medication and your sanity, as measured by spend, gets very low, you may, so 
suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. And as I'm sure I needn't tell you, for someone in your position that would both cause both the department and your family a consider amount of embarrassment. So please remember to take your medication, Macedo. In order to avoid misdoses in a form of in a form of routine, we recommend you keep your pills in a familiar place, like your apartment, so you can take them every time you're, you come home. You should also be careful with neurotic actions, endlessly talking to people, pacing back and forth, traveling around meaningless, meaninglessly, and the like. Okay. So... If I talk too much to people, it's bad. And, like, if I'm, like, really investigating into something, like, going back and forth across the screen, that is also bad. Studies show that neurosis can act as a multiplier that exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity, which, given your current condition, could be dangerous. Okay, so we do want neurosis to go down, because neurosis times, like, increases the amount of, like, sanity I lose or... Or pick up, I think, is what that means. We found that patients become less neurotic by taking time out to take care of themselves. Detectives and Aka tells me you have a pet. You're not spending time with the uh, animal relaxing and getting a good night's sleep. What about the uh, levels of neurosis we see on your chart? These stress-relieving actions have no negative side effects in relation to your medication or condition. I'll leave it to you, your superiors, to discuss professionalism with you. That has a measurable effect on the spin chart. Do you understand the importance of spin? Or do you want me to explain it to you again? Uh, no, I understand. Zuki, thank god you came. You need to get out of here. You've got me taking enough sedatives to knock out a damn elephant. Tell you when they'll let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nuts lying around here all day. Eh, yeah. what you should say there, Yami. I, I think the going crazy thing is what they're worried about, too. It's not funny. Sorry, sorry, but in life you can either laugh or you can cry, and if you ask me, it's better to laugh. Should be much, it shouldn't be much longer now. The doctor says he wants to observe you a little longer, is all. Well. How are you feeling? Better, but I, I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing is kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone else there with me, and that mask it. Yeah, I'll stop you right there, Ayami. I've heard enough about that thing. It's all over the report. Yukimura gave me a hell of a lecture about even leaving mention of it in there. Where is it now? It's not important. You made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situation, I don't blame you. And on the report, you can barely even call it a mistake. Highly unstable suspect had a knife to a girl's throat, and you took the shot. No matter what other people say, I'm standing by you both now and at the hearing. I don't know what you saw, but I know you had a reason for what you did. People at HQ are already starting to take your side, but please, no more talk about the mask. It'll only hurt your case and keep you in this hospital longer. Trust me, nobody wants that, least of all me. Not to mention... You Camaros have a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you. you keep him up, so help him out a bit, will you? Whatever you think you saw that day wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it isn't going to help you get better, so no more about it, okay? You're right, it was a confusing situation. I guess my mind is grasping at straws trying to come to terms with it. No, Kazuki. I think I need a break from all this, being a cop. And sign up to hurt kill people. I know we talk we'll talk about it later. For now you should get some rest. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Six months later. Oh, but now we're in a sewer. Six months okay. So yeah, six months later. see he's wearing the mask hmm
Wait. Okay. What am I doing here? Have we not gone six months into the future? Alright, well, my pills are on the table. My sanity is a little low, so I, I can probably do with taking a pill. Jamie are right here on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health even when he's gone. These pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. It'll increase my sanity, but uh, my investigation goes down a little. Um, this will help with my neurosis. Hey, little one. Are you sleeping there? Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. I don't know what I'd do with both you and Kazuki. I can't think like that. More to all this and too many unanswered questions. I'll get to the bottom of it. I'll just salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. Okay, so I think this is after Kazuki's dead. Let's look at the laptop. Yeah, okay, so this is after the fact. A violent incident in the sewer below the streets of Shinjuku in the late hours last night has resulted in the death of a detective and an apparent rescue gone wrong. The body of Detective Kazuki Tanaka, 29, was recovered last night after a nearly week-long search when he went missing off the streets of Kasumi... Kasumi... Gai... Gaseki? Kasumi Gaseki? The mysterious incident has left the police scrambling for answers and a, and a suspect as the investigation continues into its second day. The detective who arrived first on the scene, Yumi Ito, has declined to make any comment to the press about her superiors, say that after following a lead, she was led into the sewers where she became she made contact with a lone female suspect. At the time, sources say the female suspect panicked and the incident ended violently before she could be apprehended. There are many unanswered questions, however. It appears that, that, besides the lone detective, there were no other police on the scene, calling to question how the case was handled. There is also a question of the missing suspect, and why, after Detective Tanaka was killed, the suspect was not able to be restrained. This case comes in the midst of increasing scrutiny on the police, in particular the violent crime section. There's other instances of police neglect of or questionable investigative practices have been made public, Several experts have gone on record saying that Tokyo's police are not equipped to handle the recent wave of crime. Police have promised to release the results of their internal investigation as soon as possible. Superintendent Yakimura, who was in charge of both Detective Tanaka and Io, has urged the department and the public at large to hold judgment until all the facts are in. I've heard a lot of rumors surrounding this case, but we're barely a few hours into understanding what actually happened down there. I think it's too early to jump to conclusions. And then I'll actually read it. An article from two weeks ago. Okay, so this is two weeks after he died. Everything in it is laid out so neat and factual, it makes it seem so simple. Like that all happened to someone else. Like the Edo on the page is a different person from some other world. Yet it's not. It's what happened to me, or so they say. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody bag, the red paint. And they write like that, like it's true. The press will try to simplify any story to sell papers, Kazuki always said. Things about that night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find any trace of the girl. Fingerprints were on the red paint were inconclusive. The knife of the scheme was clean too. But they told me, but there's no way it can be true. What really happened down there? That's interesting. If the knife was clean, that would imply that he was never killed? Or maybe it was clean of, like, prints. I don't think I should take multiple pills a day. Uh, go to bedroom. Uh, I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of the night always come floating back whenever I do. Sometimes I think I can hear his voice just beyond the door. It's when I open and I'll see him there. <laughs> Fighting these last few weeks just... To just be a bad dream. But it's no dream. He's gone. Well, what hurts more, the fact that he's gone or the way it happened? Taken by a girl who shouldn't exist. Reina. That was her name. I remembered a few days after the sewer, but kept it to myself. The debrief they had me talk to a situ station psychiatrist. One look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be thinking. 
Police reports, the press. No one's mentioning the girl. But I saw what I saw. If she came back, then maybe. If I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself. I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. I doubt they'll let me in anywhere near it, though. At least for now. One way or another, I'll find the truth. Okay, well, I can't do anything else in there, so... I guess I'll answer the door. Hey, I, uh, brought you some dinner. Konnichiwa. Thanks, Yumi. You didn't have to do that. Need to eat something, neighbor. You can't just sit around all day, right? I know, it's just... It's alright, you don't have to thank me. I just, uh... No good with this stuff. But uh, Yami, I, uh, I'm really sorry about Kazuki. I mean, I, I, I know that he meant a lot to you. I didn't know him very well, but... Stop. Just stop. You don't. Uh, I'm sorry, Yumi. I, I didn't mean it. Forget it. Forget I said anything. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I guess it's... It's been a bit much. What? what? <laughs> For a moment, I thought it was uh, my character going, Woohoo! That, that was a big one, huh? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I know I know we're not the best friends or anything. I was just worried, is all. Sorry, Yumi, that's my phone. Work again? It's like they know when we're talking. Yeah, maybe. I have to take this. Yumi, thanks for the food. Anytime. Hi. Ito here. You know, I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, um, I need you to come into the station as uh, soon as you can. What's this about? It'd be easier if we talked in person. See you soon. Okay. Look. Worked with Saki to Ishibashi for years now, and she hasn't changed a bit. Hard work and pleasant smiles are only matched by your love of gossip. All the CT CCTV cameras in the station can be viewed here. Saki stays up to date on all the office drama by having an unrestricted view of the whole building. Oh, hey Ito. Didn't think we'd see you back uh, so soon. Konnichiwa. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, uh... About what happened. It's alright, Saki. You don't need to say anything. It's just so awful. I never know you two were close. I mean, I heard. Yeah, we were. But seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. If you say so. Well, I'm glad you're being so positive. No matter what people say, I know you cared about him and did everything you could to save him. Thanks, Saki. Wait, what exactly are people saying? I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up since we're friends. They've, uh, there have been some rumors about what happened to Tanaka. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Well, that's... Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't, I don't want to upset you. Out with the Saki. We both know you can't keep something like that to yourself for long, so you might as well tell me now. Fine, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? On account of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups are looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I understand it just fine. Officer Bando told me earlier that Tara was boasting about some promotion, and that I saw some movers going into your office on the CCTV earlier. It just... it doesn't look good is all. Tara? That guy needs a swift punch on the back of the head sooner than he needs a promotion. Any movers in my office? And movers in my office? This is too much. See, I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definite, though. All I know for sure is what I've seen on the monitors and what Bando's told me. Hold on a second. It was Officer Bando. That's some alias you came up with. Is it? I only tried that with you one time, and you figured it out right away. Ando transferred in from Osaka a few weeks ago. He's a total sweetheart. Sometimes he comes and talks to me at the front desk when he's free. Huh, did he say anything else about Terra's mysterious promotion? Uh, not that I remember. All I know is he's been on the fourth floor doing some legwork. The detectives lately, and overheard it. 
If I run by my office, maybe I'll see this officer Bando and ask him myself. Hey, that reminds me. You see him? Could you give him this? Uh, sure. What is it? Sure. Uh, what is it? I don't think the frog drawing follows standard police procedure. You like it? It's cute, right? See, I'm trusting you with this because it's more of a, uh, private thing. Give it to him, though, right? I, sure. It's like I've died and gone back to high school. Yeah, sure, I'll give it to him, but you owe me. Thanks, Ayami, you're the best. Guess you better head up to you. I'm being a nice person. And it's just, it's backfiring. <laughs> My professionalism is just going down the train like ridiculously bad. <sighs> so you knew about that too, huh? Thanks for helping me keep keeping me up to date, Saki. It's just lovely. I ask her about the CCTV. You haven't slowed down your viewing habits. Well, they do pay me to keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. It's not my fault if I happen to notice some other stuff at the same time. Like that Detective Akita always fixes her hair before she sees Detective Suzuki. But Officer Sato takes off his wedding ring when he enters the building. Anyway, I have to be careful. Kimura says if anything happens on my watch, then uh, that'll make me pay for it. Alright, so I... Neurosis, so I gotta, like, not say too much. I can't sit around chit-chat. Okay, so talk and I have offices on this floor. Then in storage and forensics is in the basement. Reception level, Saki's probably sitting there now watching all the CT Okay, so press button. It was only letting me go to floor seven. So away we go. Sorry to have to call you in like this, Ito. I uh, know we promised you some time off after the whole rotten situation. I'd meant to talk to you earlier, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for any excuse they could to go for our throats, and they found it. Then the deputy chief starts calling me, then the chief... Hell, got a call from the mayor last night. All of them want this case solved and out of mind. If he was here to see it, Tanaka would be furious at all the bureaucracy. Can't even count the number of times he yelled at me after similar speeches I made to him. He was a good man. Yes, sir, he was. Let's cut to the chase. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor is demanding a formal inquiry on your conduct. Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing was rotten, if you ask me. Unfortunately, there was there are no do-overs in police work, and even choices that seem right at the time can turn around and bite us on later on. Oh, well, you. I need to make that night sending you in alone. I'll pay for that, too. Keep an eye on your professionalism using the spin system from time to time. Give me those vultures anything to pick. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. Not just about the inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you and the choices you make, professional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects in the future. People who work with you and trust you, the options you'll have available to you are all hinged on your ability to keep a professional face. One more thing. Given the circumstances, we think it's best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being. Transfer? Sir, I don't understand. Already done twice the amount of work as some of the veterans, and I've only been in the unit for a few years. Really, my record could speak for itself. I mean, at least let's talk about it first. This isn't a negotiation, Detective. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. The next month, you'll continue to be on leave. Fully paid, of course. Of course, I'll need to take your badge until you return. Then you can turn in downstairs. When you come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and, uh, Insurance fraud cases. Another detective will be moving into your place. We need to clear out your office. I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Ito? Professionalism. Yes, sir. Understood. 
Sir, I understand your decision, but surely this move should only be temporary. It's enough, Detective. Well, the internal hearing about your case is complete. There will be no further discussion of this. Now please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. Best stay with us. Ito, take care of yourself. Hmm. That is rough. I guess I'll go... Go to floor four. Because that's where my office is. I'll help the movers get my crap out of the way. Can't talk with any of you. Are you guys the movers? Nope, I can't talk with either of you. Hey, Ito, hold up. Oh, that's Tyra. I heard you were back at the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. You're right, he was the best. Almost hard to believe he'd let himself get caught the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? He goes missing and can't manage to contact anyone even once. Thought he would have tried to get in touch with you at least, since you were his partner and all. Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. You know. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that one on your own. Implying something you would have done better? Mm. Psh, you would have done better? You're right, Tyra. Yukimura should have sent you, the man who hasn't solved a single one of the murders on his desk this year. Would have turned out much better. Hey, those were just unlucky cases is all. No witnesses. If Yukimura had sent me, I could have kept my cool. I can tell you that. One partner with Technina was surprised by how competent he was. He didn't attach himself to the Hepatatyra. He could probably make a good detective. I was going to close my eyes and count to ten, hoping that when I open them, Tyra will disappear. Unfortunately, that tactic hasn't worked yet. It's a fire alarm. I see. Enter office. What a morning. I'm exhausted. First the bosses dump me out of a violent crime, and then uh, send movers ahead of me so everyone in the station knows about my demotion before me. What a mess. It wasn't going through enough already. At least with the public shaming, doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. Gives me a chance to regroup and plan my next move. Why is my little Neko cat looking the wrong way? So, uh, what do I have here? Suki gave me this silver hairpin for our birth my birthday last year. It seems so long ago. My sanity's not doing too good. There's a diploma, my picture. Uh, look. New email is my inbox from Yakimura. Looks like it's gone out to all the detectives. Let's see, Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure. Pressure Colossus Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is leading. There it is. Ito will be temporary, temporarily reassigned. So he did make it public. How humiliating. Real nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he hit send. <sighs> After all this time, why doesn't he believe me? I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way into the boys' club to be respected as a detective. Look at it all now. All the hard work shoved into some boxes to be handed off to them or brown knows their way into this promotion, no doubt. Can't help but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all these years if it can be easily packed away and forgotten. I guess I'll pack boxes. Mira doesn't believe me. I'm the laughing stock of the station. Now I'm being moved out of the office to top it off. I don't get much worse than this, but it's Yakimura that strings them that stings the most. I could trust him, but instead he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm some sort of criminal. Sitting around here isn't gonna change anything. If they won't investigate, I will. First things first, I need to get my hands back on that mask. 
Athena mentioned it over and over. It's the only clue I have to go on. And I don't think I have anything else in here. Hmm. Well, things have seemed to have gone down pretty south real quick for our poor Ito here. And, uh, Sanity could be doing a bit better. It says it's stable, but, oh boy, our stats aren't looking too good. So, anywho, I will be right back with more in the next episode. So, see you all then. Thank you.